In what has been a roller coaster season for the Miami Dolphins, quarterback Tua Tungavailoa does at the least see some silver linings in his second campaign with the team. The Dolphins were eliminated from playoff contention following their blowout loss to the Tennessee Titans in Week 17. A seven game winning streak propelled the Dolphins back into the AFC playoff picture, but the defeat last week meant that they will miss out on playing playoff football for the fifth straight season. Overall, Tungavailoa believes that his second campaign in Miami has been one marred by missed opportunities, which he touched on during a press conference on Wednesday. It didn't go the way that I wanted it to go, Tungavailoa said. It didn't go the way that our team wanted it to go. It's tough when you have an opportunity and you don't capitalize on that opportunity. It's tough. At the least, the former Alabama Crimson Tide star does see that this season has been a fun, one filled with learning lessons along the way. I would say it has been a fun season, Tungavailoa said. Just being able to go through the ups and downs with the guys that we have on our team, just us continuing to believe in each other while things weren't going right and then when things were going right. That's why we're in this industry and why we do what we do because of the feeling of when you do win and you do accomplish what you want to accomplish, it's a good feeling for all of us. Tungavailoa will feature for the Dolphins in their upcoming Week 18 home matchup against the New England Patriots. From there, Speculation surrounding his future with the team may once again emerge, especially as his name was often seen in the rumor mill ahead of this season NFL trade deadline. Miami Dolphins coaches as much to blame for Tua Tungavailoa struggles. The Miami Dolphins may or may not want Tua Tungavailoa next season. We simply don't know but the coaches need to blame themselves. Ryan Tanhill was never a great quarterback for the Dolphins and you could point to the fact that he is a caretaking quarterback with the Titans. That's fine but the Titans are winning and Tannehill is being coached to play in their system. A system that works well with Tannehill's ability. In Miami, the coaching staff couldn't figure out what to do with Tannehill. They refused to cater the system to him. They coddled him. They scaled down the offense and inevitably, he failed to impress. The same thing is happening to Tua Tungavailoa. Tua is a good quarterback. Despite what some think, he can throw the deep pass. He is a lot like Drew Brees without the success more the Chargers version of Drew Brees and far from the Saints version. I would venture to guess that if Tua was in New Orleans now, many fans would be wanting him in Miami. Miami coaching staff, and namely Brian Flores is to blame for this mess when it comes to Tua. He has failed to get him an offensive system that works. That blame falls on the head coach who has gone through three, four if you count the two this year, offensive coordinators since he arrived. He has gone through four offensive line coaches. The offense continues to struggle. Miami poured money into the offense this year. They signed Will Fuller, they added Malcolm Brown, they brought in Jalen Waddell, they paid both Alan Hearns and Albert Wilson, they also went the exceptionally cheap route with their offensive line. Aside from Waddell, everything else just blew up. How can any quarterback succeed in a system that has no running game? No consistent pass protection? Receivers who can't get open are consistent separation. How can any quarterback succeed when the offense is so predictable that if you take away one player, Waddell, there is not other game plan. Tua has his problems. I'm not a social media, Tua stan. I am aware that there are hiccups and issues in his game, I know he is far from perfect. I'm not making excuses. He needs to be far more assertive and in command of his offense but I also know that it really doesn't matter when you are being pulled off the field on fourth and short so the coaches can roll out a never was starting quarterback to dive into the line of scrimmage. Or is being pulled to run a wild cat formation that hasn't worked since 2008. Tua isn't set up to succeed in Miami and that isn't going to change with the addition of another quarterback. It won't open the playbook because if they haven't opened it yet, there is a problem with the coaches. Design a playbook that features your quarterback's abilities, not scale it down to hide his inabilities. In Miami, they simply are not doing him any favors.